Ahmed Mohamed is particularly fond of Dogalina, his Argentine stallion. He started out as a poultry farmer about two decades ago. With his fascination for horses, he then veered into horse breeding. Ahmed trains and sells horses ranging from the locally bred to the Sudanese and exotic Argentine thoroughbred horses. Depending on the age and breed, a horse sells for around 7,500 and even more, bringing in good business returns. Last year into this year, we bred about uh, 13 horses. We've sold 12, only the young foal of about six months that is still here. And somebody has indicated interest. Horse breeding in Nigeria predates the colonial era. The animals were used for intertribal wars, transportation, parades, sports, and royal keepsakes. But it's considered an elitist and capital intensive trade. Ahmed says support, funding, and interest for the locally bred horses have been low. This is something new. Nobody has attempted it. And uh, we are being uh, skeptical trying to present a business plan to the banks because it's something we do not think they will support. But we're trying to see how we can uh, discuss with some of our bankers to see if they will be willing to provide us loans. One of the challenges again is acceptance by the edif to patronize locally bred horses. Ahmed's been practicing horse rescue. He acquires injured or sick horses for far less. He then treats and rehabilitates them. He currently has a total 31 horses in his stable after exporting to Mali, Niger and other neighboring African countries. He believes with government support and funding, horse breeding can generate massive revenues and create employment.